What's up, Diecast Collectors? This is OBB, the Diecast News Guy, bringing you guys with yet another NASCAR Diecast review on my YouTube channel. And this is not a promo car, but it is a rare car. I mean, the car I'm about to show you guys, only one of 576 of this Diecast were produced in the 164 RCCA Elite scale. And yes, I'm talking about a 164 Elite scale car because we're going to be talking about my boy, Martin Truex Jr. and his 2005 Bass Pro Shops um Monte Carlo Club car for Dale Earnhardt Incorporated uh, Racing. Wow. This die cast is really freaking rare. And I am so glad I got this. I mean, I got this for one of my uh, longtime old friends um, from the from the Christmas exchange that we usually do every year. But still, we should probably do that every year because, my God, those are some good times. But, hey, at the end of the day, we're all still good friends. So this is a really awesome ad that I got from that exchange. And, just my God, guys. I mean, look at that. It's a pretty rare car. Only 576 of these were produced. But a really unique box to this. And uh, there's going to be a lot of cool uh, features to show off this diecast, as you can see right there. I mean, the packaging is pretty cool. I mean, of course, we got ourselves a lot of unsponsored cars because, you know, licensing. Got to love it. But anyways, guys, let's go and kick off this diecast review before Teresa Earnhardt gets on my ass and hopefully doesn't sue. And let's kick off this diecast review of the Martin and Truex Jr. 2005 Bass Pro Car. Alrighty guys, we got the diecast out of the box and we're ready to get things started. My god, this is a what a beautiful looking car, guys. I mean, you got the classic DEI number one, not the Ganassi one that we have now. I mean, my god. I mean, it's a shame Teresa Arnhardt has to be such a stubborn, you know what. <laughs> uh all I can say she rhymes with the word itch. You figure out the rest. <laughs> But look at this, man. This is such a beautiful die cast. I mean, look at that. I mean, oh my god. We got rubber tires, detailed interior. I mean, look at that. Oh, we got a freaking mesh window net, which is awesome. And don't get me started on this metallic finish, guys. This metallic red finish is all over the car, and I love it. We also got a detailed uh, metal chassis as well. I mean, there's probably no hunk of plastic on this car at all. And the best part... This car has an opening hood with metal grills and detailed engine. Look at that. I mean, look at those. That That is cool. Even a little radiator hose right there. I mean, just got to love that. Back when times were people cared about NASCAR die cast quality. I mean, God, I miss those freaking days. But yeah, this is a pretty rare car, guys. I mean, if you guys could find this car, I mean, as you can see that this is a rookie car. Even though, I mean, this wasn't really tech. I mean, this was not really technically Mark Trex Jr.'s full-time rookie season. I mean... 2006 was his full-time rookie season. I mean, if I remember correctly, he only ran seven races in this car. And he ran different variants. He ran a black version and this red version. Um, but yeah, let's just say 2005 is not the year, I mean, Truex fans want to remember for the Cup Series. But for the Bush Series, I mean, that guy was a two-time champion in 2004 and 2005. I mean, what, he got like six wins in this year for the 2005 Bush Series. But for the Cup Series, guys, out of his seven races, he only scored one top ten. And let's say five out of the seven times he either crashed or had an engine failure. So yeah, this was not a good year for Truex. Not a good year to start off, <laughs> especially knowing that he was going to be the champion later in the year for the for the uh, Bush series. But yeah, I mean it's a shame because I really do like this paint scheme, and I would love to see this car return as a throwback for Truex. Even though I mean it's probably not the best of terms. I mean probably not going to get it because that because you know those DEI stripes because you know. Once those DEI stripes show up on a car, you know who's gonna you know be knocking on the door and be like, no, 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 not on my watch, not on my watch. <laughs> I freaking itch. <laughs> I want to say that word, but I'm like, uh, let's keep it a little appropriate, Brian. Even though I probably will drop the f bomb here eventually or whatever. But my God, I really do love this car, guys. I really do. I would have loved to see this car in Victory Lane, but this is before Mark Jackson was at his prime, guys. Way before the days when he was with you know MWR and Furniture Row Racing, and Joe Gibbs. I mean, this is when, you know, Truex was starting to get his career going, but not really. I mean, he only scored one win in, in DEI equipment, which was in 2007, which, by the way, that's the die cast I'm going to compare it to. Here's the 2007 car. I mean, this is the only other car I compare it to, guys, and I probably will be doing a separate review on this car, on this 2007 car, because, you know, both definitely deserve their recognition the recognition in their own little ways. I mean, there's a little more detail on uh, the Tail 7 variant. You see right there with the exhaust detail. 
compared to that, but um, but this is actually an elite, as you can see, the decklet opens up, which is really cool. But still are really great looking diecast guys. I do love both of them. And you just can't go wrong with that. I mean, look at those rookie stripes. Just fantastic. And look at that. Even this car has a DIN number of its own. I mean, look at that. I mean, the 164 collectors definitely uh, were cared about a lot more back then. But yeah, feel free to comment below if you guys want to see the diecast review of this 2007 Elite car. I mean, as I'm just continuing to flex it, to continue to just flex it. I mean, I major flex warning right now, guys. <laughs> but my God, guys, I really do love this car, guys. And speaking of me loving this car a lot, I mean, let's just say I also got the 124 scale version of this car, guys. Uh, for free as well from the Christmas exchange. I mean, my good pal Gino Harvey, you guys know him as Aflac Cup Series, got me this sucker for Christmas and uh, took me long enough to finally uh, do the review of this. So better late than ever. So Gino, if you're watching this video, thank you, man, because I fucking love this car. Th this car is beautiful, guys. I mean, look at that, guys. As we're going to open up the hood. I know you guys came for a 164 review, but the thumbnail showed both. So I'm giving a shout out to the 124 collectors and the 164 collectors and reviewers out there. Because, you know, it's good to review both. Especially if you're a big fan of this driver, like I am. I mean, look at this, man. This is such a cool freaking die cast. I mean, look at that. Look at that metallic red. I mean, look at that. That is just beautiful. We've got a Budweiser logo right there. I mean, because this car doesn't care about being PC. The camouflage and the yellow DEI stripes. I mean, it's an odd combination, but it works. Even the rookie stripes look pretty cool on this diecast, I will admit. And there's the deck if you guys want to see that. Look at that red fuel cell. Mmm, wonderful. And like the iconic Race Day 2011 always says, dun 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 dun, dun this side is the same as the freaking other side. And also here is the bottom of the chassis. You guys want to see that? I mean, look at that. We got a working tie rod. Look at that. There's even imprinted stickers right there for um, the tires. I mean, look at that. Detail as finest. There's also, this car also has a working suspension. That is cool. I mean, my God, dude. I mean, that's that just amazing. I mean, this part is solid axle, but still though, I mean, my God, even with the elites that we get right now, guys, there's nowhere near as close to this. I mean, look at that. Look at that radiator fan. Mm, my God, I'm just geeking out now because I love me some car parts. But anyways, guys, I mean, I hope you guys enjoyed this diecast view of the uh, the 124 scale diecast view and the 164 scale diecast view of the Martin Truex Jr. 2005 Bass Pro Shops Tracker Boats uh, rookie car from the NASCAR Nextel Cup Series and his Chevrolet Monte Carlo for Dale Earnhardt Incorporated. And yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this diecast view along with other NASCAR diecast views. And if you guys haven't already, feel free to subscribe and hit that like button so you guys can stay up to date on all the latest diecast reviews. But um, you guys subscribe and hit that bell icon. Otherwise, you know, you're pretty much shit out of luck. But anyways, guys, this has been OBB, the diecast news guy. And until next time, I will see you guys on another NASCAR diecast review.